up guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to try to give you all a quick team haul um i'm trying to keep this within like the 45 minute range so um i'm just going to try to just jump right into it before i begin though you know everything uh, that you could ever possibly want to know about anything you see in this video it will be listed down below in the description box um my discount code affiliate links are down there Bushland farm lane codes are down there. You just gotta type those numbers into the search bar on the main home screen, on the main um, app, website, homepage. Um, also, you will find uh, what I'm wearing. I'm pretty sure I got this from Timu. If I can find the link, I will post that down below in the description box as well, as well as full order links and individual links to everything that I'm gonna be showing you today. So, with all that out of the way, <laughs> um, let's just jump right into it. Um, everybody is currently asleep. Yeah, <laughs> everybody is currently asleep. So um, I don't want to take too long to do this. Uh, I am going to go ahead and give you the last five items um, that were in the bag of the last team haul that you saw um, because that was a whole separate order. Um, we. We came through Hurricane or Tropical Storm Colleen or whatever she was called. Um, she came through so, uh, Thursday night into Friday morning. And we were good up until Friday morning. We lost, we actually didn't lose our power until about 7 a.m. Um, Friday and did not get it back until. It, it was on when I got home about 4.30 Sunday afternoon. Um, and Annie had been gone with Abby for quite a number of hours at that point. So um, I'm not sure exactly when it came on precisely, but I just know it was on at 4.30. And judging by the freezer and the fact that all of the ice pops were still liquid, <laughs> I don't think it had been on very long. So maybe 30 minutes or so. Uh, or within 30 minutes but um we're good uh my job actually was like open friday and saturday and sunday they, they've been open the whole time and they've been busy because the next city over is a really small town and they are completely without power they really say were i don't know how much of it is back up again if it's back up again Somebody that I was talking to today said that it was a 100% complete grid shutdown um, in that within that uh, city limits there. So no restaurants were open, no gas stations, uh, stores, anything. So everybody kind of migrated to the surrounding cities, and believe me, my job has been feeling that. <laughs> um, yesterday. Um, was a Monday. <laughs> uh, just let, give you an idea of um, when I'm recording this. I, I'm trying my best to not wait too long to upload it. But um, yesterday was a lot busier than your standard Monday. Hopefully I'll down just a little bit. Um, I'm going to have to order me a new ring light because mine's broken. It's been broken for the last few videos. But today it's just kind of broken and that the light part of it's just kind of hanging down so i'm gonna have to order me a new ring light again um but let's get into a team move haul i'm sure y'all don't want to hear me yammering on but everybody i know i know is safe my daughter that lives um in georgia i do have an older daughter and an older son if you didn't know <laughs> i have more than just a three-year-old but um she lives down in georgia and um her brother, my son, went and helped to evacuate them Thursday um, before everything hit. Or no, Wednesday. Might have been Wednesday. Might have been Wednesday or Thursday. I can't remember. But he was he evacuated them all before the storm came through. And she's safe. Her kids are safe. Everybody's safe. They're good. Um, my son, on the other hand, him and the grandmother that he lives with, their house... I don't think they have power 
and I think from a previous storm, a tree knocked a hole in their roof. They're still been dealing with that um, between the insurance company and the mortgage company or something. And so they're dealing with stuff like that. So, but everybody's safe. We're live, we're safe. Uh, we're slowly getting power back around here. Um, so yeah, everything's good. Um, my mom lost power for about a day, a day and a half, I think. Um, but she's good. She's, she's a survivor. So let's get into it. Um, this is a sweater that I bought and, um, if I have time, I'm going to try to, I don't know, I guess I could go ahead and try on things like sweaters. I can go ahead and try on, but this is just a really pretty sweater that I saw. Um, I've been watching it for a little while. Really, it's really like thick, really soft. I'm just trying to sit back as much as I can. Um, but yeah, just a really soft, I think it's like a boat neck. So it has like a long wide neck. So let's try this puppy on and see how it fits. Really soft, y'all. Oh my gosh, this thing is so soft and cozy. I'm gonna have some nice sweaters for, um, not a fan already. I can feel that the, there's a seam, the, the shoulder seam might be tight, but we're gonna see. I'm not gonna count it out yet. Oh no, it might not be too bad. It is a little bit like you can see that's my arm right there. It's not tight, but I don't like it being right up on me. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's comfortable. I'm just gonna scoot y'all back just a little bit here. I'm gonna try to, hold on. There's a lot of stuff here, by the way. Yeah, you can see my ring light. It's like when you um, see something and they have like a glimpse like behind the scenes of filming a TV show. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I think it's nice. Um, it has the, the band at the bottom, which isn't tight. I mean, it's nice. I said the, the sleeves are long on me, as things usually are. But it does have the, like that. But yeah, other than that, it's pretty nice. Um, and you just gotta imagine it without the purple t-shirt up underneath it. But yeah, I like it. Um, I don't think the, I don't think that's same. I don't think it's gonna be very bothersome. So. Um, I will try to, um, pull orders up here in a minute and I'll try to give y'all prices. Which will save me time in editing. So yeah, I like it. We'll keep it. I said really soft, really warm. Um, A plus. Um, there were a few um nails in here. Um, first we have these. It has like the blue, um, like a two tone blue French tip. Really pretty, like an almond shape. So really pretty on those. And the other nails in here are a ombre. You know, I like my ombres. Really pretty pink. Ballet style. And then we have some earrings, which I'll take out for you. Oh, these earrings right here, I'm pretty sure I got these from Timu. Um, I will link them down below. Cause I don't think I've had them terribly long, so um, hopefully it shouldn't be too hard for me to find the links. But there's some really pretty dangly earrings. Really pretty. I'll take one of these off so you can see. So, not bad. Kind of cute. So, yeah. 
and they do come with the um like the metal backing but they have the uh the stabilizer on them which is good it's nice the jewelry over here <clears throat> And I'm going to put this back on for now. <laughs> so I'm not sitting here looking crazy with one earring in. So this next thing. Uh, don't make me get my scissors out. You're going to make me get my scissors out, aren't you? Of course you are. not listening and y'all know if y'all see me sitting here without my glasses on you know I can't see a darn thing I mean I can but it, everything is blurry like within this distance to my face so this this was a set of two toothbrushes well this isn't too big for Abby but these were the triple sided toothbrushes. See, they have three, three sets of bristles there. So you can just go straight around and you don't have to worry about doing this and then inside and then top and all that stuff. So, um, I got these, I hope that, like I said, I hope they're not too big for Abby. Um, cause I wanted to try to make things easier for her to brush her teeth. So, and they so just two of the same thing, so. Put my, put my tablet up and while that is coming up um oh come on now so if y'all see me going a little fast in this team hall that would be why okay so let's start pulling team up all right so um Put everything in the trash bag. Just use the old team bag. It's the best way to do it. Um, you orders. And I'm still kind of upset. I'm still kind of peeved with Timu because on your account um, page, uh, where it shows your options for Timu Circle. I keep getting like on beside of it, it'll say restore membership or something like that. And I click on it and it still won't let me in my t in Timu circle. It'll still say it's upgrading check back soon, which I think is a load of crap if I'm being honest, but that's just my feeling because there are people who, who still have Timu circle and because I was deciding to wait to the last day to renew my membership, they just automatically cut me off and say, oops gotta wait till it's available again I'm, I'm not happy about that I'm missing out on all kind of like discounts and my coupons and um my credit back and stuff so um uh, let me oh here it is right here so um come on here we go all right, so the two piece, uh, the toothbrushes were $2.67. That's what I paid for them. And they are still at $2.67. The pink ombre nails, I paid $1.67 for. They are at, currently at $1.60. Oh, that, no, close that. The uh, blue tipped nails, I paid $2.24 for. They are currently at $2.68. The sweater, I paid $13.31 for. I got two price adjustments on it. Um, but it is back up now to $14.34. And it also comes in a really pretty, like the cream, like that. And then this one right here with the green is sold out currently. But if I will still post the, the, the link to it. And then you can, if you want the green one, just watch it or um, choose to be notified. Oh, okay, so the earrings. Oh, you know what? 
I missed something about these earrings, and I'm glad I'm looking at these. They did come with these backings, but y'all, I missed the part about there was another backing at the bottom of it. So this is one. Of, these are one of those earrings that loops around. So like you see it hanging like that, right? It actually loops around. There's another backing right here. So if I put them in like so and put that backing on, well, I hope I actually put them in my ear hole. Sorry. I knew there was something. I knew they kind of looked a little off. So put that backing on, which is the way it's supposed to be. Come on now, get on there. It's very tight. But anyway, looks like that instead. So those are really cute. I like those. These would be a good like earring to wear to work. Well, I just want to kind of want to be a little bit more muted, a little more understated, but still, uh, but still show my personality. So yeah, I knew there was something about these earrings I was missing. They probably just put them on like this to, cause they have the card. But I mean, I guess you could wear them both ways because you don't even notice there's an earring backing there unless you know it's there. So, either way. Anywho, um, I paid a dollar and four cents for those. And they are currently back up to three dollars and fourteen cents. So, I caught them on a really good deal. So, that was all of one order. I think that was another, um, claim credit order. Which is why I order things that I may not necessarily have ordered. Like the toothbrushes, I probably wouldn't have ordered otherwise. But, so next, um, there's a couple things in here I want to I'm looking for something Oh, I'll go ahead and show y'all this. Um, y'all know how I said I ordered the purple fleece jacket twice. Well, that's not what I ordered twice. That sweater that you saw in my last haul. Was it my last haul or the one before that? Um, it was a, it was that white hooded sweater that I accidentally ordered twice. So I'm not even going to open this. Um, I am going to pack it up with that tiger, um, the, not the tiger, but the, um, is it a tiger shirt? Yeah, it was a tiger shirt. I'm gonna I'm gonna pack it up with that tiger shirt and go ahead and send this back with that. So um I I know I'm missing something because I have one item here. This is an electronic blood pressure monitor. And then let's see if I can find it. Because this was a two-item purchase, a two-item haul, and, okay. So this, sorry, do, 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 do. This, these were two free gifts, I think, that I got with another um, order, the rest of the order that you're going to be seeing here. So... Like I said, a electronic blood pressure monitor, um, wrist type. So this goes on your wrist. Um, oops. Oh, the battery compartment fell off. Hold on. Not the battery compartment, but the door to the battery compartment. But, um... So it does take a battery while I'm looking at it. Um, possibly, I can't tell if it's AA or AAA, but it takes two batteries. Um, so blood pressure monitor, um, 
goes on your wrist. I'm not gonna be using this because I'm I'm not the one that needs it. Um, but you know you've got your all the electronic goodies and stuff that tell you what your blood pressure is, and he has to keep a, a monitor of his blood pressure. Um, because it tends to get a little high sometimes. So, but anyway. So, I've got one of these. Um, I'm going to put some batteries in it and um, give it to him later on when he wakes up. It does come with um, user, user instructions. Um, you tell what to, it does take AAA. That's what I was thinking. It looked like it was AAA, but I wasn't 100% sure on that. Um, and yeah, it gives you like memory functions and um, all that good stuff. So it does come with a little bit of a user manual. Um, and then a storage case, which is nice. So yeah, just one of these. Um, like I said, I got this for free. Um, I think this particular bag was a case of like get two free gifts and then buy like seven more items or something like that. Anyway, it was some kind of some kind of deal where I got two free items. I don't know how it, it wasn't one of the games, um, but it was just like a special offer that they gave me. So got that. And the other thing that I got, I'm, I'm trying to find in here. Um, I'm not going to be opening this up. I will gladly show you a picture here in a second. But this is a 10 rib extra large folding umbrella with UV protection, large 10 rib frame, fashionable and sturdy design for sunny and rainy days. And of course, I got it in purple. Um, this is just the standard umbrella. I'll take it out of the plastic. Um, but I am not quite fully opening it in here. Not that I'm superstitious or anything like that, but I don't want to um, have to wrangle this thing right now. So I've always wanted like one of the extra big um, umbrellas, and it does come with a sleeve, nice sleeve, it's like a two-tone, and this one is two-tone, like it's black on the outside and it's purple on the inside, which is really nice. Um, this is kind of a, it has kind of a faux leather feel to it. Um, it has your button, which will pop it open and, um, I'm assuming it'll help it. I'm assuming if this is able to pop open, then the handle will pop open. So, but that is there. I'm never going to be able to get this thing back in here, am I? I, I never can, y'all. Anyway, just a really nice umbrella. I'll show it to you in a second. I'm, I'm going to show it to you, I promise. Okay. So just a really nice, like, extra large umbrella. Um... It is currently sitting at $10.34. It comes in navy blue, black, gray, burgundy, red, and the purple. And that is the, the inside color. The outside color is black on all of them. Um, but yeah. Come on now. So, this is technically the one that I got see is with the purple that's technically the one that I got like I said you've got red burgundy gray yeah gray black and blue so yeah and then that's their little um, anyway really nice umbrella and the blood pressure monitor is currently sitting at 1301 um, you can get it for the wrist, um, which is either silent or you can get it with voice. 
Yeah, I think I got it with silent. Yeah, I did get the silent version. Because I felt like if there was voice commands or anything like that, it might get on his nerves. It might, it might annoy him a little bit. So we got the silent one. Oh, and the box does come with a quick use guide. I mean, I don't know. Either or. So. I've got like stuff everywhere. <laughs> Let's put the stuff I've shown over here. Okay. So. Next. Let me see if I can find this one. Dun, dun. And you know it has to be in order that's like near there. So, okay, I see the order with the camera. So this is a couple of different orders in here. Okay, I think this is it. So this is a few this is a few different orders, so um I'll give y'all what I can. If I can't finish, then we'll just continue next time. So these are just some um, ring, um, O-ring type earrings. Um, I have some, uh, gold ones that I wear, but they're very, they're static. They don't move, but I like these because they have some movement to them. So, just a really fun, so yeah. Um, these were... Well, I'll, I'll, I will, I will continue on and show y'all those here in a minute. So this is another pair of earrings is actually in that same order and these are much smaller. Um, these are just some cute little, let's see if I can show you. Um, these are just some cute little earrings with a chain hanging down. Um, there are two of them. <laughs> there are two of them. So just some really cute earrings. Um, these are very, very understated. Um, whoops. You're not dropping them. Do not drop them. Open up like that. See if I can get this on sometime tonight. Yeah. It's going, I feel like going, I feel like going on there. Like it wants to. But my ear is just so darn big, guys. So. So it looks like that. So, really cute. Really cute. Another uh, understated. Um, understated pair of earrings. And I think I've said before in a previous haul that. I've gotten more into wanting to do the more smaller earrings, especially like when I go to work and I'm, when I'm on the line. I don't usually like to wear the big earrings when I'm on the line, but it does give me the opportunity to wear them without having to worry about really trying to match them with anything. <laughs> but, you know. Um, what else? Is that other sweater in here? I think there was supposed to be a sweater in here. Okay. I'm trying to pull out the stuff while I have this one order pulled up. I'm trying to like pull everything from it out. Um, so this is a sweater or sweatshirt. It was supposed to be a sweatshirt. And this is a very thin t-shirt style sweatshirt. And it's all crumpled up in there, so it's probably somebody's return, which is great. Um, but I did like this. It looked very much like a sweatshirt, y'all. Um, but it's more of a t-shirt, like a long sleeve t-shirt. Oops. Just kind of like the half and half. Um, and looking at it, looking at it. It might fit, it might fit, but it's, it might be a little short. So let's try this on real quick. It is thin, like I said, there's no fleece or anything on the inside. You can see through it. Um, and I did get, what size did I get? Um, 
Yeah, yeah, I got the Pyvex in it. I've noticed several um, shirts that I've looked at, they start coming in like 6 and 7X. If it's supposed to be like a baggy sweatshirt or a baggy sweater, I'm, I'm tending to lean more towards the 6X just to make sure. But um, for everything else, I'm I'm still obviously going to be getting the Pyvex. Um, so push you back again. I'm sorry about that last time. Hold on, I need to move this chair out of the way. Okay. Sorry about that last time, guys. Um, so this is. I mean, it's it's soft. It's it's loose. It's not horrible. Um, sleeves are long as they usually are. See, that's my fingertips. But other than that, other than that, I mean, it's not bad. Just not, it'd be a nice, um, like long sleeve shirt. Probably would definitely have to like roll these up though. Why do they always make the sleeves on these things so long? It doesn't make any sense. Like I understand I have short arms, but these are like giant length arms. Or what was the, um, the stretchy man? I don't know. That's not going to look very good, but... Anyway, um, I think it looks good. looks alright. Is it my thing? I don't know. You tell me what you think. I mean, I, th I think it looks a little... It fits okay. But maybe it's just not really meant for me. I don't know. I'll give it some thought. You guys tell me what you think. Um, you guys tell me what you think. Like I said, it fits okay. There's plenty of room in the sleeves. Um, but am I like 100% in love with it? Like I was hoping I would be? No. Um, it's a nice, nice shirt to wear on a 60 degree day. So, I don't know. It's comfortable. I'll give it that. It's comfortable. So, but definitely, probably would have been... A lot cooler um like style wise if it had been a sweatshirt just saying but other than that it fits it fits i mean it's not like i don't know if i can show you all the material it's not like it's like the thin the thin um shiny polyester material um, but it is a, it is a nice cottony, um, material, um, like a thin cotton, but I know it's not cotton. Where was the tag again? Um, it is 95 95% polyester, 5% spandex. So yeah, but it is a nice, it is a nice material. It is soft. So I guess we could give it that. If nothing else. <laughs> um, so we'll put that back in the bag for now until I kind of have a think over it. To make sure I'm going to keep it. Okay, let's put you back again. There we go. <laughs> Are y'all getting sick yet? If so, I'm sorry. So next, um, trying to look at this order. There's some jewelry in here and some nails. Let's just dump it. Okay. okay, now that I've got everything pulled out, um, I think these are the nails. Yeah, so these are some really pretty um, pink, um, pink nails. They're supposed to have that little bit of the aura look to them, but then you have the French tip ones here, really pretty. They're a lot, they're actually like a little bit prettier than I thought they would be. So, really pretty. Um, and there's a pin. There's a pin. Is this it? Oh, that was in the other order. 
All right, now where's my other pin? Where is it? Hang it. Ruin memento. Well, I try to find my other pin. Is this it? Still buggy. No, that says universal. Hold on. I feel like I'm missing. I'm missing a pin. Maybe I'm sitting on it. Um, I think I am sitting on it. Yes, I was sitting on it. I'm sorry. So this is this pin that I got because the movie kind of has a place in my heart, if nothing else. Um, we, I think I watched it for the first time when I was in high school. Um, for the purpose of drama class, because we were going to be doing that as our senior musical one year. And, um, and of course, I had a part in it. it. wasn't the part that I wanted, but, you know, even as a teenager, I was a little bit overweight. So, I didn't get the part that I wanted, but I did get a part, um, uh, and it is Grease. I got to play Frenchie. So, I was a beauty school dropout. <laughs> Just a cute little pin. Um, like the car, the shape of the car with grease written in it. And it has the rubber, um, the backing thing on it. Pin. So yeah, just a cute little grease pin. Get that over there. Like the little stuff I'm trying not to lose. Okay. Um, and I think there's one more thing in here. I think it might be in this box. I always get a little bit like, why did you put it in a box? Nope, that is not it. One more memento. Are we missing something else again? Is it in this? Nope, that ain't it either. All right, y'all. I'm still to like, this time it's a necklace. I'm going to show y'all what I can, and if I find it, then I'll show it to you. But as of right now, I'm not seeing it. Any, oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Okay. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be. It's, it's like, it's like a good bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. This is a necklace, and this is a fire faux opal necklace. Y'all can't even be bothered to put the pendant on the necklace. Come on, Timu. Um, I do like these box chains, though. I like the, the thick box chain. Um, let me put it on the necklace, and then I'll show it to you. It's really pretty. Come on, get in there. What is holding you up? I got my glasses on so I can see you. Okay. <laughs> you would think as a stitcher, I would be good at threading things. But apparently I'm not. <laughs> um, this is just a really pretty necklace. I like those fire, uh, faux fire opal. So it has that kind of bit of an orange fire look to it. Um, can't see it. It's not coming through on the camera, but I can see it in real life. There's like reddish, like a little bit of reddish, um, twinkle to it, like a sparkle in there. Of course, she, of course she wakes up. I knew it was gonna happen. But, um, it's just a really pretty necklace. So. Oh. Maybe she's not quite ready to get up yet. <laughs> um, 
Incidentally, that also came in a blue color. So, let me tell you what we got here. The half and half shirt, um, I paid $10.98 for it. It is $10.97. Goes from 1 to 5X. I'm sure you can find it in regular sizes too if you're not that big. Um, this is what it looked like on the model. To me, that kind of looks like a sweatshirt, almost. It kind of looks like a sweatshirt. That's just me. Um, so, that was the only color that it came in. And the little small earrings. Um, these little earrings right here that I inevitably was going to drop. Either way. It was bound to happen. Um, these little earrings right here. Um, I paid $2.96 for them. Um, they are at $2.73 right now. The big um, O-ring style earrings. Um, I paid $1.47 and they're currently at $1.97. The pink nails, these currently sitting at two oh eight, um, which is what I paid for them as well. The grease pen, um, I paid a dollar eighty one. Um, they're currently is currently sitting at a dollar eighty nine. Um, and in case you're wondering, that was the only pen in that listing. So, and like I said, the um, necklace, the fire opal. It doesn't look as fiery opal as it does in the picture um but i do but i do see like a red sparkle in there um what i say i paid a dollar 37 really <laughs> and well come on now do, 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 do. and it is currently sitting at a dollar 34 the what it's supposed to look like is i don't know if y'all can see that fire opal thing coming through anyway um i can see i can see the glitter in there but it doesn't look as multi-tonal as that does okay um throw that away actually i'm trying to throw away bags okay so the next order that i'm going to be moving to um, is this one right here, and there's only six items in it, so hopefully this will go fast. Uh, let's see. No! Why did I push that button? I did not want to close it. <laughs> um, that sweater was in this order. Um, I paid $19.49 for it, and that's what it currently is. Same color options I mentioned in the last video. Um, light pink, like a mustard yellow color, dark pink, light blue, um, and then also gray and black. So, 1 to 5X, and of course, I'm sure you can find it in regular sizes as well. So, so this is another pin. Well, I'm kind of close to a pin. Um, so, this is just a really cute little pin. It says, hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Believe it or not, I am not like gaga over the Princess Bride or anything, but I do enjoy it a great deal. So, um, and I don't think that was actually in this order. I think that was actually in a different order. So I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to find that in a little bit. Um, I got two of these and that is in this order. Um, I did get two of these. Um, these are both 19.69 inch USB extension cables. And I bought this before. Um, but these, and this is just a really short one. There's no way this is 19 inches. Are we sure this is 19 inches? Maybe it is. Maybe I'm, I'm, maybe I'm considering a rule of 12 inch ruler to be longer than it is but anyway this is 19.69 inches um you have 
an item that has a USB charging end on it. Plug it in there, and then you plug this end into, um, say, a brick or an outlet or a what do you call it? The extension thing that has all the plugs in it. Power strip. <laughs> or you have a power strip like we do um, that actually has the USB slots in it. Um, it just gives you a little bit extra length for USB. And this is shorter than I thought it was going to be, so I'm going to have to go back and order a longer one. Um, but for these particular two that I ordered, um, I only paid 28 cents each for them. So I'm not too mad about that. I'm just gonna put them both in the same bag. So 28 cents each. Um, and in case anybody's wondering, um, they did come in four sizes altogether. Um, the one I got was this, the shortest one. They also come in a 39.37 inch, a 59.06 inch, and a 118.11 inch. Um, so, so 39.37 inch, that's what, 3 feet, 3.3 feet, um, a 4.92 foot, and 118 inches is, I don't know, not quite 10 feet, 9 point something uh, feet. So, um, so yeah. Oh, in case, in just to let y'all know, the, that 19.69 inch one is currently at a dollar and 20 cents right now. Uh, 39 inch is 177, 59 inch is 207, and 118 inch is 327, which still, technology wise, it's not a bad price. So, so next, um, I saw this ring and I thought it was really pretty, but this is actually in the other order that the Inigo Montoya pin goes in. Um, this is a, a ring, but it comes with a set of interchangeable stones. Um, really pretty ring and it comes like this and can open it up put whatever put whatever stone in there you want I think that's the stone is the purple one and then you put it in there and then you can latch it there's like a latch it's supposed to latch oh excuse me sorry okay yeah and it latches see that so you can change out the color of the ring and it is um, an adjustable size. So we're gonna open this up just a little bit because I got some big fingers. So that's my right hand. All right, I'm gonna put this down. I have to open this up just a bit more. Can't open it too big or it'll break. Um, but in case anybody's wondering, my I usually wear a size nine. But yeah, it, it opens up. So really pretty. And then, I suppose, I, I don't like how it's bent. I don't like how it's bent. Like, I don't know if you can see that right there, how it's bent up. Like it's staying open. So I want to change it out. Let's say I want to put the green one in. Yeah, this thing is like, all, this thing's like bent up. It's not exactly 100% um, oval, like it, there is some, it's, it's a little dinged up, let's just say that, not bad, but just enough, where you can kind of can tell, so yeah, and then you can switch it out, whichever stone you feel like wearing that day, so yeah, and it also does come with, also that was, sorry, that was the black, it is very, very glittery, um, and it also comes with the, um, I think that's quartz, a amethyst, and emerald or jade. So yeah. 
Um, yeah, that was in the other. That's in the order, other order as well. So the may this might be three orders actually. So let me. I'm gonna put this in a baggie so that they don't get lost. But believe me, they'll get lost. So, um, I should just put it back in its own bag. <laughs> so next, apparently I'm just showing all of the other order. Um, these are just some kind of yellowish cat eye nails. I wouldn't even go so far as to call it cat eye. They, they do kind of have a cat eye effect though, I guess. So yeah, they're pretty. Nothing, nothing spectacular about them. They're all solid color. And then this, I did open this up already. He sent it in a box. But this is a glitter um, tumbler uh, foot, like a boot. You know, that you would put your tumbler in. Um, put the bottom of your tumbler in there and it keeps it from sliding around. Oh. Uh, Sparkling diamond silicone boot for Stanley H2O tumblers, 20 to 30 ounce anti-slip protective sleeve cover with sequin accents. <laughs> this was supposed to be purple, I think. I got the purple. This looks a little, kind of different from the picture. Um, but that is supposed to be purple. Believe it or not. It does look pink. But I guess if I had the pink one, and I could um, hold it up next to it, but I don't have anything exciting to hold up in this order. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so I got that one. That was I paid four forty seven for that, and it is currently three ninety seven. Comes in eight different colors. Um. Star drone, which I think is a, a rainbowy silver, regular silver, black, purple, pink, champagne, blue, which is like a tealish blue, and then green. So you can get it in a bunch of colors. And anytime anything you buy anything that has rhinestones, sequins, whatever on it, it is going to automatically cost more. So next um, we have a pajama set for Abby and I have bought this before in a night in a nightgown but with it going to be cooler weather soon I went ahead and bought it in the two-piece so this is really soft it does kind of have that shiny polyester feel to it um, 95 polyester 5% spandex but it is still really soft so just some cute dinosaur and it comes with the matching pants. So yeah, and it'll be like a little bit of a, a baggier pant. So not like a fitted uh, pajama set or they call them like slim fit. It's not slim fit. So just a really cute Really cute pajama set. Like I said, I've got I've got the um, nightgown um, in this design. This is exact same exact same design. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and get her the two piece set for cooler weather. And of course, I got it in a four because that's what she's gonna be wearing. That's what she's kind of transitioning into. Um, what is this? So these are... Mm, I don't have any earrings in this order. Um, let me show you this. This is a camera that I got for Abby. She learned how to use the camera function on her phone. So, I don't know. I thought, I, I went ahead and got her a little camera, little kid's camera, to see how she would do with it. 
Um, and this is just a cute little, um, cute little camera. Really small. It does come with a really small LED, LCD screen, LED screen. Um, and this is actually a silicone cover that you can put on it or you can take it off. So this is really small. So yeah. Um, like I said, it's a silicone sleeve you can put on it. Cute, 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 cute. Oh, and it does come with a strap um, which you can put on it. I feel like, I still feel like I need a cheese, even though I'm cheesing with a camera. <laughs> anyway, um, it does come with a cute little strap, which I don't know if I want to bother even putting it on. Um, short charger cable. Uh, is it even charged up? Probably not. Oh, yes, it is. So it has like really simple functions like touch screen buttons um, to like take a picture. It has a, let me take the, let me take the cover off. Um, oh, I guess they're not touch screen. I just, I guess you just, select oh okay um back out here no shit there is there is very little how do you back out How do you back out? Like, I'm genuinely curious. Like, once you take a picture, suppose you want to go back to the home screen. Like, how do you do that? Okay. No. That turns the camera around. you wouldn't press power I keep writing press for five seconds I don't know I don't know y'all they've got like filters you can put in like different colors um <laughs> they've got like a like a mirror um filter you got like a weird filter like that. Y'all are getting to see everything. So. And then, let me turn it around here. So like, you can see me, right? Somewhere. There I am. <laughs> you can see me. See, there's me. And then, yeah, different, just different filters she can play around with. Anyway, um, I'm going to play around with this. Oh, I guess you just hit the power, that little power button right there to go back to the home screen. But yeah, just different, um, different things you can do. Um, it's not a very, um, what do you call it? Well, so, let's turn it off for now. Um... But that was, I actually got that for free. Um, that was a free gift with this particular order. Um, uh, that was probably like a free gift with $20 or $40 order or something like that. Um, Cause that looks like about, about maybe $30, $40 worth of stuff. Um, but yeah. The toy camera, you can get it in either pink or purple. 
Um, it is currently sitting at 1474. Um, and it does say, um, perfect birthday and Christmas gift for boys and girls ages 3 to 12. One Piece HD Unicorn Camera for Kids, 32 gigabyte memory. Um, I did notice there was a thing on the screen that was coming up saying that there was no SD card in it. So I think, I'm thinking you can probably, there's probably a space to put an SD card in there somewhere. Maybe. Um, uh, maybe not. Yeah, there's space to put an SD card in there. Um, if you wanted to have a bigger memory, which I don't think I will. Because she's, she's not even four. So she doesn't need mem more memory than that. So yeah. Just a cute little camera and it does come with a user manual if you need it, but honestly, it's pretty simple to figure out. And I'm gonna give that to her when she wakes up. Well, right after I get done with this video, I'll probably go, away. go ahead and go wake her up. Um, what else we got? I think, was that all in this particular order? Um, I think so, yeah. It's like five pieces. So I showed y'all the camera, it was free. Um, did I tell y'all the pajamas? The um, pajamas I paid eight sixty three for. They are currently sitting at six oh nine. Um, I told y'all about the sweater. I paid nineteen forty nine. It's still at that same price, but again, again, like I said, I've already purchased it once. So, and, oh goodness, we're already over an hour. I was not trying to make it this long. Um, the extension cables. 28 cents is what I paid for them. You can catch them on a good deal. You just gotta sometimes watch these things. Or I just I just happen to see it. And they they were at 28 cents. And I the um tumbler shoe boot thing um I paid four forty seven for. So let me find that other order that um Okay, here it is. Everything else that I'm gonna be showing you is in this order. Um, the uh, Inigo Montoya pin uh, I paid two sixty nine for. It is currently at two twenty nine. The uh, kind of gold yellow nails. Um, that's actually a thirty piece, so might as well say it's pretty much like. The handmade nails, which are getting all small, medium, and large sizes, all of them. Um, I paid two thirty nine for those. Um, that one is currently sold out. Um, I'm not seeing them again anywhere else right off the bat. But if I find them, I will be sure to link them below. Or I will keep if they come back in stock, I'll I'll post them. And the ring. Um, I paid four ninety four for that set, um, and it is currently at four sixty six. Um, you do get amethyst and pink stone. Um, I don't know what others. What else? It also comes in a bronze. Um, that was silver, in case you didn't realize that. But it also comes in bronze. Um, I'm looking to see if there's any kind of description about what all stones it comes with. Um, it doesn't say. It doesn't say. It's just picture after picture of the same things. So, yeah. Oh, do, do, do. It just says natural stone. So, I'm not sure what all, all of those stones are. So, a couple more things and then I'm going to let y'all go so I can go get her up. She's already sleeping later than I'd like her to. But, so I got this because I felt like we needed a new remote control caddy. So that's what this is. Um, anyway, um, this is that faux leather. Um, you've got one, two, three, four, five slots for your remotes because everything these days has a remote. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it does a really nice, has a nice stitching around the edge. Really nice. Really, really nice. Um, and I'm hoping he doesn't, um, what do you call it? I hope, hope he doesn't protest against this too much. 
because one we have now is like it's it spins um and it's supposed to have like um a pockets where you keep drink coasters in but we don't use those um but i don't know i just got this to see if we use it we use it if we don't we don't um that actually um i paid 848 for that it is currently still sitting at 847 so um and that was saying it only has it in black but i think i've seen it in other colors don't hold me to it um so next we have a set of earrings um and these are still kind of in line with all the rest of the ones that i've shown you all today because i think i was just in kind of a punk um punk style earring kind of mood which is my style you know i i like it i had you seen the earrings that i had on today when i went out to walmart so let me show them to you first before i go putting them on i have a habit of doing that so just some really cool earrings some more hoops with the chains can y'all tell I, I like a certain thing? <laughs> um, yeah. They always just kind of give that 80s rocker vibe, you know? Um, and it does have the, um, clasp that you kind of lift it up like that. And then you just kind of set it down in there. These I am going to try on so you guys can get an idea of how they're going to look. Alright, where's the other part of it? I feel like my ear is just being very, it's its extra puffy right now for some reason. Is that in? No, it's not in. So, oh, I like those. Those are cool. Those are cool. I like those. And imagine the other one hanging down. Those are cool, I like those. So yeah. So yeah, just some cute book. Oh. One of the rings came off. And that's that's what I was I was just about to say the good thing about these is it doesn't have um like you can't it can't slip off, but Apparently it can. So you just gotta kind of put that that loop, that ring back on there like that. So you gotta be careful with these. So just some really cool earrings. Um, those I paid two dollars and ninety nine cents for. They are currently sitting at two sixty nine. And the silver, those that silver was the only color in that listing. So last but not least. I'm going to save these like jewelry boxes because I feel like I might need some jewelry boxes at, in, at the holidays. So I'm going to keep that. So last but not least, I did pick up a cross stitch kit. And I don't do that a lot. I don't pick up a lot of cross stitch kits from Timu because honestly, I have plenty to stitch. And I'm kind of a snob when it comes to what I stitch and what I stitch with. So... That's why I don't pick up a lot of these stamped cross stitches. But they are easy. They, they make for good mindless stitching. So I got a really pretty tiger and kitten cross stitch. And I think I got it in the 14 count. No, it's 11 count. It was 14 count. The only one they had available. Apparently it was. So apparently it was the only one. Um, so this is 11 account, which means I will be stitching with three strands of thread. So just a really pretty, just a really pretty tiger and kitten. I was like, this is what the kitten grows up to be. So, and so as you can see, it's stamped. So each one of these colors, the, the canvas, when you get done with these, you're supposed to be able to wash it off, to rinse it off in water. And all of this color comes off. It, it kind of fades off. Um, and I've seen instances where people accidentally get these things wet and 
the you know the, the ink does, does come off it's water soluble I know that word because I just saw it on the on the package um <laughs> but um um each one of these colors and each one of these corresponds to a color of thread so you use this and then you just follow the color and that's where you stitch that color and then come over here in the blue and that's where you stitch that color so these are really easy these are really mindless stitching um for days when you want to stitch but you don't really want to put too much thought into it these are these uh stamp these stamp kits are really nice so but just a really pretty um really pretty cost stitch kit so so yeah um how much did i paid for that i paid 9.83 and it is currently at 9.99 so but that's gonna do it guys um i think that was what three orders or three and a half orders um if you add in the two freebie items that were like by themselves <laughs> in my order list so i'm gonna let y'all go i'm gonna go in here and get abby up um she's been asleep later than i'd like her to be so i guess i'm staying up late with her tonight that's always fun at least I don't have to go to work tomorrow. So, um, but I'm gonna let y'all go. Um, if you saw anything in this video that you liked, please don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up. You know, I always like seeing those. And let me know down in the comment, know down in the comments what your favorite thing was. Um, because I like to see what your, uh, what your opinions are, what you liked the best. Personally, what I liked the best, um, I think the little kid's camera was really cute. Um, this little remote caddy is really nice. Um, I think that, um, that umbrella, I think, feels really nice. And all the earrings are cool. I like the earrings. So, I like it all. <laughs> um, also, I do have a, uh, a mystery swap coming up with a very dear friend, a, a good lady by the name of Christine. Um, she is over at formerly Christine's Halls, but she has recently changed her channel name to Pink Butterfly Halls or something like that. I don't, I'm sorry, Christine. Don't remember. Um, I know we have trouble remembering each other's channel's names. It happens. It's YouTube. It happens all the time. <laughs> but um, I, we will be um, putting in our orders soon. Um, hopefully within the next day or two, I'm trying to get with her and make sure she's still good to go ahead and place her order. Um, and make sure we have a budget set. I know how much I'm going to spend. I don't know how much she wants to spend, but I know I'm going to spend a certain amount either way. So, <laughs> and don't get me wrong. It's, it's probably more than what she's thinking. So, because I just kept finding all kind of stuff that I wanted to put in our mystery swap. Um, don't ever tell me that you want to do a mystery swap with me and your your favorite things are like giraffes and red trucks and roses or something like that and a color and the color purple i will find you every single thing on timu that has to do with any of those things you know i'm i'm gonna get you what i know that you like <laughs> um and if anybody's wondering about the winner of the giveaway that i did um i have talked with her i've already placed her order and it is on her way to her now i don't think she has a youtube channel but um once i hear from her i will let her i will let you guys know how she felt about everything um but i'm 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 really hoping that she likes everything but i think she will i'm being confident in myself that i think she'll like everything <laughs> but i'm gonna let you go you guys go this time for real um also if you're in a position to help out the channel if you want to throw a little support my way i do have memberships available that won't change anything about the content that you're currently seeing right now uh once i dig, do get up to a certain amount of members i am going to start trying to maybe release videos a little early for members possibly giving y'all some live videos um some other kind of content um, just for members i'm still kind of working through the kind of stuff that I want to do for members but uh, nothing about the regular channel is going to change I know some people in comments of other channels that I've seen when they announce that they're going to start doing memberships 
other people was like, well, I'm not going to pay to see somebody's content. The regular channel content is not going to change. Um, memberships uh, is just a good way to get little extra stuff. If you really want to get into a channel, if you really want to show some support, memberships are a good way for not only for people to provide um, the extra support to the channel, but also for the channel to give back to those members who want to show their extra support. <laughs> I do have three tiers. I have one that's $1.99, a $4.99, and a $9.99. So far, I've got, I think, five members at the $1.99 tier and two members at the $4.99 tier. Um, one of the perks of being a member is you get your name shouted out on my end screen um, in every video. And uh, so yeah, if you want to see your name on my, if you want to see your name up on YouTube, go ahead and hit that, uh, that join button. You should see it right below this video if you're on a regular um, desktop or laptop, um, but um, there is a, there will be a link down in the description box. You can just click on that, and I think it takes you to like the home page, to like my home page, or there should be a join button on there. I I'm, I don't know how it looks to y'all, but I know it's there somewhere. Just take my word for it. I promise it's there. So I'll let y'all go. I'm gonna see you guys again real soon. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell so that you know when I upload new videos. Because if you're not subscribed yet and you keep watching my channel, just might as well go ahead and hit subscribe. It really helps my channel out and lets YouTube know that I'm doing good things over here and that people actually want to watch me. Why y'all want to watch me, I don't know. But apparently y'all do. And apparently some of you actually like it. <laughs> but I'll see you guys again real soon. And until then... Be good, guys. Bye for now.